Hi guys, this is Mike here. Here is on iClarify.com. This is the only untethered step-by-step -step jailbreak for Mac for iOS 4.2.1. As you can see, you can read the requirements. You have a step one. And uh, it tells you what you need. iOS 4.2 beta 3. In my honest opinion, this is a complicated jailbreak. I'm sorry, untethered jailbreak. It's very complicated because when you go back up here to this area right here, most users are not iPhone developers so you're on your own you're gonna be using the red snow 0 0.9.7 beta 1 I've covered this in a previous video and as you see you're gonna need the iOS 4.2.1 8C148 Restore IPSW sometimes you guys are saying that it's just a folder but what you have to do is you have to rename it in IPSW because Red Snow will not find it as you can see IPSW successfully identified I thought I'd create this video to help some of you that do not want a tethered jailbreak to, because it's, it is a pain. So you can see where I'm getting this information from my clarify.com and I thought I'd bring it to your attention. Everything that will help you. I'm still waiting for the official untethered jailbreak that doesn't require the jailbreak Monty um, and all these steps and processes. Um, some people are not having uh, Bluetooth capabilities, so that's something to think about and these are the standard screens for red snow 0 0.97 beta 1 for DFU mode and so on and so forth so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative and good luck and uh, I hope that that you're able to successfully jailbreak with an untethered um, jailbreak and as always please rate comment and subscribe subscribe for the uh, 1000 subscriber Apple iPod touch giveaway and I really appreciate your subscriptions I appreciate your good comments and keep up the good work guys and I will see you in the next video Peace.